actually my one month anniversary of Hashtag Hour. So, I can't think of a better way uh, to, to spend it uh, than with all of you, and I really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, when I was talking about his first conversation with Michael, I, I actually was, uh, was thinking back to my first conversation with Ivan. It was very similar. Um, I could just see the excitement, the enthusiasm, the vision that, that he conveyed to me. And that's one of the main reasons that I'm here today. I wanted to just spend a few minutes to give an introduction to myself and tell you a little bit more about, um, about why I'm here and, more importantly, um, why I'm very excited about the future of this business. This is just an incredible time to be a part of this organization and help to convey some of that enthusiasm with me today. So, um, first, just a little bit about myself. Um, I've had the opportunity over the last almost 20 years of my career to work with um, some really amazing brands and companies that have been pioneers in not only marketing but also e-commerce, as well as some uh, much smaller companies in the recent years as startups. So back to 90, 1998, um, which uh, you know, if you think about um, some of those examples that Jerry shared with us earlier, it's not quite back the days of, of slides and grid phones, but you know those were the early days of the internet. And one of the reasons why I joined Dell back in 1998 was because they were a pioneer in the direct selling model for computers. They were um, selling directly to consumers and businesses all over the globe, but they were also a pioneer in e-commerce. So that was one of the reasons why I joined them. I came on board in 1998 in the consumer business. It was an amazing time. The consumer business in the U.S. was growing like mad. I had the opportunity to actually run the consumer e-business um, during that time and, and actually wrote the, the, the bubble of the internet um, before it burst and you know, saw a lot of companies that were having success go to the wayside. But Dell was really one of those companies that continued to innovate and grow in, um, in e-commerce. Another thing that I, was, I feel really fortunate to have had um, the experience of when I was at Dell was um, working overseas. So I spent um, 18 months working in Brazil. Uh, it's really great to see the, uh, the team here from Brazil today. It's down in Porto Alegre, Brazil, as the general manager of the business there. And then again, um, my last year at Dell was living in Sydney, Australia, and I was the uh, marketing director for all of Asia Pacific. So I traveled extensively in China, Japan, Korea, India, Singapore, Malaysia, all the way down to Australia, New Zealand. So it was a really amazing experience for me there. And then joining REI, which probably a lot of people outside of the U.S. may not have heard of, but REI is the leading um, outdoor retailer in the United States, a uh, premium retailer, an innovator in e-commerce. Um, it's also a, um, a member-based organization. It's the largest consumer cooperative in the, United, in, the uh, in the world, actually, with six million members. And so, you know, one of the things that was really interesting to me about that, and in parallel to uh, the do the organization is knowing so much about your customer and being able to provide uh, value-added uh, solutions to you um, as members of that organization. Uh, then over the course of the last three or four years, I found I spent time in startup organizations um, like Redfin Real Estate, which is um, an innovator in trying to reinvent real estate in, in the U.S., and then The Climb, which is another um, online uh, uh, retailer in the U.S. in the outdoor space. So I've been really uh, fortunate to have um, some of those experiences and some of the things that I've learned along the way um, are really these, these five trends that, uh, that I want to highlight for you this morning. And I think that, um, that each one of these things are things that uh, the Duty organization is doing incredibly well. We heard a lot of those a few minutes ago with, uh, with Kirk and Nick, and we hear more throughout the day. The first is that um, the companies that are, are really harnessing the power of data are winners today. What does that really mean? Um, we hear a lot of the news about big data, and I think sometimes it's hard to really get your, arm, your head around what that actually means. But I, the way I think about big data is um, it really does two things for you. One is it helps you to understand what you're doing well, what you're not doing well, and be more efficient. And then secondly, it allows you to have insights about your customer that allow you to be a lot more relevant in, in um, creating relationships with and uh, there's an old joke in advertising about uh, that 50% of your advertising is wasted. It's completely ineffective. You just don't know which 50%. And, um, and so big data is one of those things that, um, that allows you to really know what you're doing well, what you're not, to do more of the things you're doing well, and then find the things that you're not. The second piece of that, um, back to the, the notion of uh, relevancy, is, um, is you know, that having that information 
information about the customer and, and all the things that we're doing around gamification of the website that allows us to get closer and closer to who our customers are and be more and more relevant. And it becomes this virtuous cycle that allows us just to be um, this amazing site that people come back to and tell other people about. So um, that's the notion of relevancy. Um, being both global and local is another formula for success and it's a big trend right now. It's one of the things that I think we have um, you know, so much to be excited about here is that we are uh, we're building a business that has global scale. We have a website that's incredibly fast. It's going to scale up in more than 100 countries around the globe and sell a billion products. Um, but we're going to have um, localization of our content, of our offers, of our merchants. Um, some of the, the, uh, the merchant growth that Michael showed with you earlier and some of the things you'll hear from Krista about what we're doing to localize content are is ways that we're, uh, we're doing both global and local well. Networks. I know I don't have to tell um, you guys about networks, but you know, networks is a really amazing thing. Um, it's a big trend right now. If you think about it, um, you know, word of mouth, uh, people telling other people about products and brands has always been the most effective form of advertising. That took a, a, a huge leap forward with the advent of social networks. And now with the combination of the internet, of social networks, and with uh, network marketing, it's an even more powerful thing. I think it's just an incredibly important advantage that we have. And then finally, um, mobile is just changing at an incredibly uh, fast rate all around the globe now. Arguably, mobile commerce is actually changing at a faster rate right now and is driving more innovation even e-commerce did 15 years ago, and as you'll see in just a few minutes when Kirk and uh, Nick come back up on the stage, we're doing some incredible things in mobile, and I think it's another reason for us to be very excited about the future. So I am absolutely thrilled to be here. Um, I look forward to meeting many of you over the course of the next few days. More importantly, I look forward to being your chief marketing officer and contributing to the success of this organization. Our future is bright, and I think we're going to come together and really be winners inside this new global economy. Space. So thank you very much.